Hi guys, welcome back to episode two in our RS stretch series. Last time we were standing for a lot of the session, today we're gonna to be on the floor. I'm gonna take you through some exercises that you can do to mobilize, stretch, and strengthen those muscles. So when you're ready, follow me. Okay guys, so the idea of these 10 minute stretch series is that you can combine two together for a longer Pilates stretch, or you can add them to the end of your high intensity workouts to give you a nice stretch, relax, as you move into the rest of your day or you can use these as a part of your rest day so that you're getting long lean muscles and also just keeping them moving so we're avoiding that ache. As soon as you're ready, you're gonna follow me onto your hands and knees. There's a few points here that I really want you to be conscious of. The first one is that the shoulders stay over the wrist. The second one is that the hips stay over the knees. And the third one is that belly button stays nice and tight up towards the spine so we're not letting that body relax. We're gonna push those hips towards the ceiling and lift the chest. And then we're going to curl that up the other way and reverse it. Exhale down. Inhale up. So we're just mobilising through that spine. You're going to give me two more of those. Exhale. Inhale. And one more time. Exhale. Inhale. Well done. Find me a 50% position between those two points. And just take your knees a little bit wider and take your toes on a point inwards. We're going to rock the body forward, push the hips down, then pull it all the way back to that child pose position. We're going to go again forward and rock it all the way back. Feel that stretch through your spine. Forward and back. We're going to do that one more time. Forward and back and hold it there for me. Head to the floor and try and get that bum as close to the back heels as you can. Take one arm through and give it a nice stretch. Feel that down the side of the body. Pull that back to centre and over to the other side for me guys. You'll always find that you get one side that's a little bit more stretchy than the other. And that's normal so don't worry. Pull back to centre and back to that four point position. Really thinking about those points. Sucking that belly button up and take the one leg nice and long. We're going to lift and lower here for 10. So make sure it's a lift, not a kick. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. On that very last one, guys, you're going to hold it up and take that foot round the side and plant it just next to the hand. Take both hands off the floor, onto the front of the knee, and press those hips forward. Find a position there that's comfortable, that you feel that stretch through the back hip and into that front leg, into the back of the front leg. Take a nice deep breath in, and pull down on the exhale. One hand onto front knee, and twist. If you feel good here, you're either going to hold it in this lunge position or bend that back leg up into a quad stretch. Well done guys. Lower that back leg down, take the front leg back and put those hands flat. We're going to extend with the other leg. The exact same, give me 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, you know what's coming, hold. And take that leg round the side, plant it on the floor. Take both hands up, hands on your front knee, and push that weight forward. Again, you're always going to feel that you stretch your arm on one side than the other, and that's normal. Take a nice deep breath in, and on the exhale, pull down. One hand on the front knee and twist that body out. And if you feel good, you're either going to hold this stretch or take that back leg up into a quad stretch. So you feel that down the front of the back leg. Well done. We're going to pull back to that central position and move through those very first points that we did, pushing down towards the floor and pulling up towards the ceiling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. 
exhaling one more time inhaling and exhaling perfect take those knees out to the side and roll forward hips down and backwards and push again forwards and backwards push two more and backwards one more and hold it back here hold it there this is our child pose position again take one hand through and see if you can reach a little bit further this time just stretching through the side of the body pull back to center and over to the other side and that's great work there well done pull back to center and straighten the body up we're going to be in that four point position I want you to extend one leg back and follow that by the other really think about pressing through the heels and squeezing through the core push the shoulders back so we're in that down dog position and then we're going to roll forward so your chin is the last to lift push back and forward and again back and forward and one more time back forwards and as we push back this time I want you to hold and we're going to walk from one heel to the other feel that stretch all the way down the back of those legs from one to the other nice deep breath for three two one and as gracefully as you can guys drop to the knees class forward head down and push well done take those arms out to the side we're going to press to one side pull back to center and press to the other side reach right towards me again over and again over sit up push those hips forward hand on hip reach Pull back to centre over to the other side. Once more on each side. And give me a big reach once more. We're going to go back to that lunge position. So that original leg that we started on, you're going to take forward. I want it to be just a little bit bigger than a 90 degree angle. Put both hands onto that front leg and push forward. Now those legs are a little bit warmer, you should feel they can get a bit further. Hands down onto the floor, pick that back leg up behind and then with the same hand as leg that's in front, you're going to twist towards the ceiling. Hold it there. Take that hand down, push that leg back and we're going to swap. So we're going to start by finding that position, hands on the knee and push. Taking both hands to the floor, straightening the back leg up and twisting. Slowly drop that down and as gracefully as you can, I want you sat on your bottom. We're going to start with the knees hugged in towards the chest and then slowly press those knees out to the side. Hands onto your toes and use those elbows as a bit of support as we press down into that butterfly position. Take some nice deep breaths here. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Lean forward and dip that chin to the chest for a deeper stretch. And as steady as you can, straighten those legs out to the side and find a position that's comfortable for you at the point of stretch where you're at at the moment. Don't take it too far, but you definitely want to be able to feel that tension through the inside of the leg. Take those arms out to the side and we're going to be pushing through one side, then back to centre and through to the other. And again, so we should be feeling this loosen through your lower back as well. And again, you're going to twist the whole body and reach towards the toe. Pull back to centre, twist the whole body and reach towards the toe. Pull back to centre, this time we want one hand under, one hand over and we're going to twist. Try 
try and get that shoulder on the inside of the knee. Pull back to centre and over. Pull back to centre, hands towards the floor, dip the chin to the chest, flex those toes towards the ceiling and you should feel that stretch going from all the way at the top of the head all the way down the back of the knees. Now walk those hands forward and you'll feel that stretch start to increase and if you can just drop to the elbows. Hold it there and steady sit yourself up. Close those legs in together and pop those hands in a comfortable position for you. We're going to inhale, take those toes to ceiling. Exhale, push them away. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. Very last bit, you're going to bend one leg up towards the ceiling. Keep that foot flexed and you can give me 10 mini lifts for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Keep that leg bent, take it over. Opposite elbow to knee and twist. Look right over that shoulder. Pull back to centre, you want the sole of this foot onto the inside of this leg and reach towards that toe. Slowly so seat yourself up, remember as we did, one under, one over and stretch. To deepen this stretch you're going to bend this leg round the back, try and get that as close in towards the bum as you can, twist the whole body and feel that stretch now through that hip flexor. And if you feel good here, make sure that that hand is supported. Keep it flat and we're going to push up towards the ceiling. Slowly drop that down. So remember the front leg is the one that was bent. So we're going to swap that over. Flex that foot and lift and lower for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, we want that leg up and over, opposite elbow to knee and twist. Pull back to centre, foot on the inside of the leg. We're going to be reaching right towards that toe. Slowly sit yourself up, we want one under, one over and stretch. And as we were to repeat, to increase that stretch, we're going to take that leg round, kick it right in towards the bottom and twist. Then if you're feeling good, pop that hand flat, reach towards the ceiling and lift the hips. Slowly straighten those legs out. I'm just going to finish with some breathing exercises to finish off. Take both hands over one side, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, inhale and lift, press those palms together, pull them down centre and give yourselves a round of applause, well done guys, I do hope you enjoyed that stretch session, we did all of that on the floor, so you can, you can repeat that if you want to take that stretch even further and each time you repeat those stretches you should be able to feel that your muscles are lengthening a little bit more. Hopefully you feel better after that one and I will see you on the next one.